Today we're going to go ahead and continue with our activity 1.4 buggy codes. We're going to take a look at our termites and the termites code tracing chart. What we're going to need to go ahead and do is open up our code tracing chart by going up to the top of our Schoology page and clicking on my documents. That'll go ahead and open up that code tracing chart where you can see we have our code already put in there as far as blocks. We still need to identify the outcomes and what part of the code is correct, as well as the objective and the bug. So in order to go ahead and move forward, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our termites hex file. And in order to do this, we're going to need to go to makecode.microbit.org and import that termites hex file in. Now remember that that hex file can be found at the bottom of your screen, and you're simply going to go ahead and click on download. Once you download that hex file, that's going to put it into your file manager. You're going to then need to go into MakeCode, and from the import button, you're going to select import, and you're going to go ahead and find that hex file. Once you find that hex file, go ahead and select OK, and it will import it in for you. Now that we have our program imported into MakeCode, let's go ahead and take a look and see what the program is doing without making any minor modifications to it. So here we can see that we have a forever loop and inside that forever loop, it looks like we have some sort of frowny face and then it goes to a happy face. We also have an on shake event handler with nothing in it. So looking at that emulator, what it looks like is running right here is my forever loop. And we're just kind of getting that alternating between the sad and happy face. So again, if I go ahead and click on that shake button, nothing's going to happen. We know that already because there's nothing actually in that event handler. So my next question is, what is the program actually supposed to be doing? And again, we can go ahead and take a look at those comments that are left for us to see what should actually occur. So for my forever loop, it's telling me that when the micro bit isn't shaking, a smiley face should appear. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that objective and in my code tracing chart, I'm gonna go ahead and double click and paste that in. So now that we know when the micro bit isn't shaking, we should get a smiley face. Going back to make code, let's take a look at what should happen when we do shake our micro bit. In this case, it's giving us when the user shakes the micro bit, we should get a frowny face to appear. So here we basically have two event handlers, which means two different objectives. One, the forever loop, we should see a smiley face. Two, the on shake, we should get a frowny face. So in my code tracing chart, I'm gonna go ahead and add my second objective down below. So now we know that when the micro bit isn't shaking, a smiley face appears, and when it is shaking, we should see a frowny face. So let's go ahead and take a look at our event handlers. Right now I have a forever loop and I have an on shake. So we know that what our forever loop should basically do is just run forever. So anything that is inside of that loop, we should be able to get that code to be executed time and time again. So again, if we go ahead and look at that forever loop, what we're going to notice is we have two different things happen. So let's go back to my code tracing chart. And for my forever loop, basically the program will run forever when the program is initiated or when the program is started. So when we take a look at this in our make code, is the actual forever loop working? So we can see that we are seeing code. So anything that's inside of that forever loop is being executed, which means that forever loop should be working. So we can go back to our code tracing chart and say, yes, that's working. There's no bug found in that specific event handler. Now, if I go back and take a look at my second event, event handler here, and this is the on shake. And what should happen with an on shake is that the program should only run when we shake the micro bit. And when we do that, there is nothing that's actually working at that time. So in my code tracing chart, we know that my on shake is not working. So what our outcome for this is, is basically the program will run when the micro bit is shaken. And we know in this case, we have found our first bug. So let's go ahead and correct that bug down below or identify it is that program will not run when the micro bit is shaken. So there's our first bug in the program. Might be our only bug, there may be a lot more, so let's continue and find out. 
Now that we know we have our two event handlers, the next step is to see what is happening inside of each event handler or the code that's being run. In this case, we have a frowny face and we have a happy face. We know that we should be seeing that smiley face or happy face only when the forever loop is being run. So in this case, we're seeing both of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out that frowny face. And now what we should see on the micro bit is forever. We should see that happy face and that is it. Okay, again, if I hit the shake button, nothing's gonna happen. So for my smiley face, so we should see a smiley face appear on the LED screen. And that did work, okay? So we do know that that bit of code actually works. So there was no bug in that specific event handler. Now this next one here with our frowny face, that's where it can get a little bit tricky. And we have to ask ourselves, you know, is this bit of code actually working? Now, most of the time, some of you may say, no, it didn't work. If I hit the shake button, it didn't actually execute. But there really is nothing wrong with this bit of code. The problem is just where it's actually located. And the bug is actually located in the on shake since it wasn't programmed appropriately. So as far as this block is concerned, I would say that it still works. It just wasn't placed in the right place and the bug is down below, not so much as in that show LED. So here we wanna see a frown face appear on the LED screen. And again, that did work, so we can leave that as yes. So here we basically only have one bug, and that bug states that the program will not run the, when the micro bit is shaken. So we are not seeing the frowny face appear, and we can put that in there. Frown face does not appear. Now that we have our bugs, we need to make sure that we correct them. And the only correction to this is really taking our show LEDs from the forever loop on the frowny face and moving it over to our on shake. So now instead of getting a flash between the two different faces, what you're gonna notice is forever, we're always gonna see this happy face unless we go ahead and click on that on shake. And when we do, you can see that he turned to a frowny face and then he goes back. So again, if we keep shaking him, every time that we shake him, he's gonna have that frowny face. Again, if I go ahead and click on that one more time, release, you'll see, unhappy now he's happy so now that we've gone ahead and corrected those bugs the last thing we need to do is to go ahead and get a screenshot of our corrected code so let's go ahead and right click and when we do that we can select snapshot and from there you can select copy to clipboard and take that last bit of code and just simply paste it into your correct program go ahead and resize that make sure it is all lined up and once you have everything correct, you can go ahead and submit your termites code tracing chart.